cue the Dallas music. Do, 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 do. Just passing Six Flags theme park. Oh my god, we are literally going into the centre, aren't we? That's our room view. Oh my, oh god. my god. Welcome back to the channel. We're Lee and Nick, a couple from the UK. In 2017, due to a health scare, we gave up our 9 to 5 lives and bought a lodge on the east coast of England, where we started enjoying life and see more of the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us on our biggest adventure yet as we drive from LA to Orlando on our USA road trip. I don't know how, but this case gets heavier every day. You Say keep, every vlog. Do you keep putting something in it? No. Right. Let's get out of here. We're slightly late checking out this morning because we've been editing, backing things up and stuff. The knocking on the door now is the uh, room service, so we need to go. Right, we have two hours and 40 minutes to get to the Sheraton in Dallas. Are you glad we came last night? Yeah. <laughs> so if you didn't see our last vlog, go check it out. We went to Roswell and saw all the alien um, things in the town and we got through them a lot quicker than we thought we would. So we um, jumped in the car, packed our bags and headed off to a little place called what was that? Abilene, I believe. That's what it's called. That's where we stayed last night. We were literally sat in the hotel car park without a reservation. Yeah. We, we had to do it in the car park. Yeah, we booked the hotel in the car park. We did have breakfast there this morning, but we didn't actually go down for it because we both feel like we've eaten far too much. Oh, um, we went to Chili's and then we went to Chili's, yes. And actually, yeah. It was quite nice, actually. Like margarita chicken with oh beans. Oh my god. That baked potato soup. Best, best soup in the world. Best soup ever. Best soup ever. <laughs> Um, so yes, we are headed to Dallas today. Um, it is 11.19am and it's 27 degrees, so um, it's going to be a hot one today. Hopefully we can check into the hotel a little earlier and then uh, we'll get on exploring uh, Dallas. We'll have a half day free then. Yeah. So petrol here at the moment, unleaded, it is $2.95 per gallon. That's the cheapest we've seen it so far on our road trip. And compare it to LA, what was it in LA? The highest was just short of $7 a gallon. So 6.99. You guys in LA, if anybody wants to play. No, no, not LA, California. California. It's ex really expensive. Move I, to Dallas. I just worked it out. 6.99 is actually more expensive than it is in the UK. If you do all I the mean, conversions and the litres to gallons and pounds to dollars. This is where a lot of gas comes from Probably. Texas, so they're kind of manufacturing it themselves, not manufacturing, but you know, digging it up and stuff. So they're digging it up, whatever they do with it. What is it? What do you call it? They get it out, they mine it out of the ground, mine it. dig it up, whatever. So uh, they've got an abundance of it, I presume. So it's very cheap. I would imagine it's to do with tax more than all else. That too. We are 54 minutes away from the uh, hotel in Dallas. Six Flags um, theme park and they've got the DC license so there's a Superman um, ride there and see some uh, big swing in it. roller coasters it's also one of the biggest sets of roller coasters like the high density of roller coasters yeah. were like most extreme ones I think not gonna be doing that this time though is that the Superman there no it's past it now Right, there's Dallas skyline in front of us. Cue the Dallas music. Do, 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 do. So I think that is the Reunion Tower, just behind this lorry there, with like the round um, bubble, sort of, like, bubble thing and mesh on top. So we're hoping to go up that. You get a really good view of Dallas apparently from up there. Um, yeah, pretty good view here, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. So we're seven minutes away from the hotel, then we're going to find the parking. I wonder where JR's office was, which building? Well, I don't know. And I wonder which one it was shot in. There we go, closer uh, view. I can, I can almost hear the music in my Use head again. Use the middle lane to keep left at the fork. So it's this one here with bobble on it. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it yeah. is. So we're going up that. 
We're actually Keep staying right. within walking distance of um, Reunion Tower as well. We're almost literally like... We're proper going into the town here, uh, the city. In a quarter of a mile, keep left. Follow signs for I-35E North Denton. Oh my God, we are literally going into the centre, aren't we? Houston. What? It says Houston McKinney there. Yeah, but Houston's not here. Houston's down near the coast. A couple of hours away. Look how shiny those windows are. <laughs> That one starting thing to Dallas. Do, 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 Keep do, left. Do, do. Looks like some kind of rooftop bar there. Where? With the parasols. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just there. So that's the reunion tower. Is that the tower where they used to have like a, a slide outside? I don't know, but the uh, I think that's the plaza where Kennedy was shot there. Oh, yeah, the. Um, I forgot about that. I forgot actually. the name of it. It's, in, it's bookmarked in his Google yeah. Maps. But that's like the uh, plaza area yeah. where he was shot. That's the Sheraton just there. Which one? Which one? Is the Sheraton on top in red? That's where we're staying. Oh, right, here we go. Sheraton self parking, $22 per night plus tax. <laughs> um, so, not bad. Oh, look at all that down there. I thought it were a roof bar at the minute, but uh, no, I don't think it is. Oh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a plane coming. This is our very, very luxurious posh room in the Sheraton, Massive. Dallas. Massive. Thank God I've got my own bed back. I, I, I just won't... requested it because you're a miserable shit. <laughs> I haven't had room for a while. I just love to spread out in my own bed. Right, are we going to film a room tour before we muck it up? Go for it. Right, I was going to start a room tour at the door. So here we go. So we'll cover the bathroom in a minute. Ooh, let's have a look this at looks the, like uh, the, uh, the wardrobe. Got a safe in there, ironing board, luggage rack, yeah. things, irons and stuff like that. Air conditioning controls on the wall and it's already set to 73. Big enough wardrobe for all my clothes. I don't know where you're going to put yours. And then here, in this, this is not your office desk, is it? This is like your bar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, coffee kind of, machine, is it a Keurig? What's these things here? Oh, that's Starbucks. Cafe Verona. Oh, like Ooh, pods, yeah. I think. Very yeah. nice. Uh, water that they've provided. We have brought us on in as well, but... Um, and then there's plugs on there to plug charges in and things. We've got your own little fridge, is this? Yep, your own fridge. Ooh, nice bit of ice in the back of that as well. Your TV, and then here, your Bible, and your, your drawers. We got for charging. We've got a fancy clock with USB front. That's good. Telephone, lamp, queen size, two queen size beds, office desk for you to do your editing on, and then a nice little chair for me to sit and watch you. And then a lamp for on an evening. Not that we'll be ever here on an evening, we'll just be coming in when we're drunk. But um, and a look and a view like that. Look at that. 16th floor. I'm literally looking at the highways over uh, Dallas. And then last of all, this massive bathroom. It's almost as big as the Bellagio bathroom, actually. Actually, no, no it's not. It's about half the size of the Bellagio bathroom. It was like humongous. It was like an apartment on its own. At least it's not like that orange colour that all yeah. the other hotels have been in. Big baths. Actually, quite low baths. I've noticed that a lot of the baths that we've had in the hotels are quite low. Um, <laughs> and then you've got your marble top, your towels. Um, and then a shaving mirror. That I can just look at myself and say, yeah, I'm still beautiful. Right. There we go. Let's go and check out on. what the hotel has to offer. Oh, I'll drink. Right, we're well, changed and ready. 16 floors to go to the lobby. Oh. Do they serve drinks in the lobby? I hope so. Need one. 
try and show you around this hotel, but there's a lot of music going off. Here's the reception where we just um, checked in and I got some cucumber water, which was rank, because I don't like cucumber. Open palette, that looks like a nice restaurant. This, this hotel is massive, it's well nice. Uh, right, we're just having a chill on this lovely leather sofa in right. the um, hotel, it's very nice. You go and get the drinks. Can y'all keep it there? Oh my god! Oh. Randomly just bumped into Vera. <laughs> in Dallas? In Dallas? It wasn't staged. <laughs> yes, yeah, so our friend Vera is here. She is from Dallas, so she thought she'd fly in and meet she's us for a few days. Dallas. She's from Austin. Sorry, I meant she's from Texas. Is that our, our Vera? Oh, yeah, that's a state. So she thought she'd uh, fly in and. Uh, have a couple of days with us. Yeah. So, so she's um, actually going to be on the on the next leg of the road trip going to uh, New Orleans. Yeah. And we'll show you around this hotel a little bit more when we get back. Maybe we're going to go out for some food and drink because we have had nothing to eat or drink all day. Right. We're just walking through um, the high rises, looking for a bar, City Tavern, I think it's called. <laughs> We're just waiting for our Uber and we're off to the Deep Elam neighborhood in Dallas, which is known for its vibrant, artistic, uh, quirky um, art galleries, eateries, um, ales and brew pubs and things like that. Lots of beer. Yeah. And hopefully a nice coffee and cake. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Restaurants. On Commerce Street. In deep, is it the, I don't know, is it Elam or Elam? Elam. 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 Um, I never checked that it were open. And it's the tap room. Oh, is it open? I imagine it's open. I hope so. 3 pm till 10 pm. Oh, and some people's going in here. Right, we've got us drinks, and I'm glad I didn't order that. It's a hard seltzer. It's nice. It's not nice. It tastes like tonic water Vera with like a yeast in. I'm glad I changed my mind on that. Me and Vera have got Dallas Blondes. Vera's the true Dallas Blonde. I'm just impersonating it with a um, yeah, Dallas, Dallas Blonde. Blonde. It's, I've had a little taste. Let me try. It's very, um, oh yeah, yeah quite yeasty. Yes. Now we're, we're going to play Giant Jenga now, aren't we? Yeah. Never have I ever played a game of Jenga where we've actually run out of moves. Lee's now resorting to cheating and going for the next. I'm not cheating. You're not, you're taking it from a non completed lair. I can't. No, it's it. I can't without holding No, it's it. not got, it needs, it needs, a, it needs a complete lair above it. You settle the tab. That's a heavy door, yeah. I know, just saying to me, that's a really heavy door. <laughs> Right, we're gonna we're gonna explore the next place. Yeah, there's apparently some Vera said there's booths, arts and craft booths and things like that. So I think looking on Google Maps is about three blocks back. Right, we'll go and get that. And hopefully a, a coffee and a cake. Right, so we're just on this street with lots of different bars and coffee shops, uh, breweries. There's a weed spot there for hemp, coffee and tea, an oyster bar there. What's this? Westlake Brewing Company. Gift shop. A gift shop. It's a gift shop. Is it? It does look like a gift shop to me. Yeah, I want some beer. That's not a gift shop. It is. Isn't it, Vera? Yeah. It's gift shop. Cool. I want to go in. So we're in the next place, which is called Westlake Brewing. It's pretty empty, but look at this on the back. We've got a huge, like, brewing uh, sort of station type place in the back. 
Right, we've got some pretzel bites with beer cheese and some mustard. Although the grey, the mustard is grey. That's weird. <laughs> That's the beer cheese. It's beer not cheese. like I expected. No, let me try the mustard. I like it, don't I? Mm, I'm not sure. It's got a weird taste. Right, next stop is Terry's Barbecue. Terry Black's. Terry Black's Barbecue. Apparently it's a big thing in Texas. We saw it on a YouTube video and this, there is one in the deep Elam area. So we're gonna head there now and we're gonna look at some of the big smoking machines that actually look like big petrol trucks, but the, the inside of them is like where they smoke all the meat for days on end and it turns out like beautiful tender meat. So we're gonna try it. Check out the sign of that. It's not Batty B though, it's Hattie B. I'm sure she can make um, like a, a, a version of it. Batty B's Chicken House. So this neighborhood, I would expect it to have been like bustling, but it, like Vera said, it is a Monday. Monday. It's not a weekend and therefore there's not got the crowds, but it's literally like a ghost town. Everything's open apart from some of the gift shops. The restaurants are, are like, they're open, but there's nobody in them. It doesn't add to the atmosphere. It's still quite nice, like a, a nice kind of neighborhood. This is What's this one? This place is, this is it. Oh my. Terry Black. Oh. Terry Black. We're here. Massive. We've arrived. And there are quite a lot of people in there. So there we go. So Terry Black's barbecue. I want to look out back though because they've got loads of smokers. You go down back first? Yeah. Oh. Let's, well, let's head through the restaurant and have a look. Okay. So this is, this is the place to be. I mean, there's, I mean, if there's no crowds, they're all in here. That's why it's so quiet. Oh. It smells, oh, it smells, smells like, like a barbecue. So this sign says pit room tour outside. Lee's just gone in the inside door, but never mind. Is this, so this is, oh my God. This is where they smoke the meats. So you, obviously they lift them up and they've got all the meats inside. My God, look at the coals. I cannot describe the heat in here right now that's smoking all the meats in these things. And the smell, oh my God, look at the wood. Oh wow, well, yeah. Where they smoke it from. Can, you think I can get a coffee and a cake and a salad? You, you ask for a coffee in here and I'll disown you. In fact, if you do that, this ring's coming off. Look at that, they're literally like um, petrol truck canisters. That's insane. So there we go, the guy's just opened it for us. So it literally, it's, it's, does all the heat just come in that bit there? He's gonna, he's gonna chuck some more fuel in there, some wood. So I presume all the smoke goes through the canister at the back and then feeds through. I've got to stand back because it's literally melting my face. There we go. And that's what gives the, uh, the meat its smoky taste. That is absolutely insane. Look at the, and each one of these compartments will have meat inside them that's served in the restaurant. The heat is like... So the, the fire is there and the smoke goes all the way down. They're empty at the moment because they've done today's meat, but the meat usually goes in here. And then he's got all the uh, meat out for today, which is going to be served tomorrow. So we're saying brisket takes 13 hours to uh, smoke. It's very smoky. Nick's um, clothes are going to be smoked up for days. What about like Jack Daniels barrels and things like that? Do you know oh, I wish. I wish. I wish. I would, I would drink the check there. Um, <laughs> that's different. That's, uh, that wood has been aged for a while. That's just two separate things. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's, they, that's but Jack, the Jack Daniels does sell wood chips yeah. from there, each barrels. Yeah. So you can use it. That's insane. And the heat on that is just... Yeah, so, so right now it's 102 yeah. in here. If you were here in the summer, yeah. you get up to 140, 145. Wow. So when will you put the meat in for, for tomorrow then? In a half hour. Right, okay. It'll be um, pork ribs and beef ribs right. today. We make them like in half hour then. Hmm? We make I'll, be in half an hour. Right. I'll be here. I'll be here. Thank you. So, he's, so basically, he's putting the meat in for tomorrow in half an hour's time. Right so we'll make up back everybody's dinner, dinner and have a look at it actually cooking. Right, so we've got to get it up in line, select the sides, choose your meat and smile and be happy. If you want to follow them on Instagram, it's Terry Black's underscore barbecue. Just there. Right, so at first glance, those prices probably look expensive, but remember that's per pound. 
So I'm going to order a quarter of brisket and I'm going to get with it um, probably creamed corn and potato salad. The coleslaw looks amazing. Um, I'll get coleslaw. Right, okay. on the table is spicy, sweet and original. Ooh. And then you, if you're going to get ribs and you're going to get your hands messy, you get your, your kitchen towel on the table. I don't know where Vera is or what she's getting. I think she's chatting to some meat and shit. You can also go and get bread. There's like loads of bread over there. You can get bread. Well, the bread's free. Yeah. I'm going to go and get a bit then. Look at that. It's just literally, literally serving itself. Let me try it. Oh. That's what 13 hours in a, in a smoker does. We need to get a smoker at the lodge. That is divine. Try some of Vera's. Mmm. That is so tender. It is. It's delicious. It just literally falls apart in your mouth. It cuts like butter, you know. Couldn't eat another thing. Maybe a cup in the cake. You'd be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's been saying that for 20 minutes, but he's been pecking at the uh, leftovers on his tray. I'm the only one to finish. You're well, right. apart from those. I couldn't finish it. I've cut the fat off. Vera did give me some of her brisket, but this I couldn't eat it. This mac and cheese is really good. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of the mac and cheese. It's very creamy and not, not cheesy like uh, cookie can set the bar, I'm afraid. Uh, Look at that, Vera. That's very disappointing. I know. Get a box. Vera, get a box. Get a I box. won't get a box. I'm not going to be hungry this whole week, though. I'm never going to that's going to last you until next week. Look at the size of that. I know, it's a lot. Have you, have you actually eaten anything? <laughs> right, Vera's gone to get a box. We'll just check out the size of this place. We actually, when we were walking outside, we kind of cro came across it and didn't really realise we were here. But now, I can't wait to go back outside and have a look at those pork ribs that he said he'd just put in for tomorrow's menu. Brisket is king. Brisk what? Brisket is king, but... Is that some more your bread? Like their, um, All right. motto. Right, the guy's still working. I'm hoping he's put some meat in so I can have a look at it now. I'm just going to ask. You guys are the worst panelists. I just finished. Oh, you finished? <laughs> I just waited it. I just shut the door. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. Wow. Both sides. Oh, both sides. Oh my god, let me get a picture of that. Yes, please. <laughs> That's tomorrow night's dinner. Yes. Wow. That is insane. Let's get a picture. This will be ready in seven hours. Seven hours. Wow. Has somebody got to stay up all night then? Someone's always here. Wow. Yeah, someone's always here. And what is that? Pork ribs. Really? Pork oh, ribs. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm still on it now. I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're just waiting for our Uber. Apparently, this. Um, part of town is very famous for the murals on the wall and um, those two um, towers have uh, murals all over them. Here comes our Uber. Is that, what, is that the car that just exploded while it went? No, no, thankfully. In fact, it's a lift. Yes, it's a lift. I went back into um, Vera's hotel. She's invited us back to the uh, pool bar. Uh, not the pool bar, uh, rooftop, rooftop bar. bar. And the sun's just set over the, um, you can just see it kind of over there. Looks very orange in real life, but um, 
Can not bring the orange on the camera. Leaning. Right, we're at Virus Hotel, which is a True by Hilton. Yes, we're going to We were going to stay in. Bar. We were going to stay in a True by Hilton in Vegas, weren't we, originally? Oh, right, Vera, take us. Take us, Vera. Show us the way. Yes, I like this room. Me too. Bar. Look at that view. There's a plane coming in. Wow, look at that building there. Right, this isn't the rooftop bar. Unfortunately, they were closing for a private event, which is a shame because it looked beautiful up there. But um, we got to see it for less than a minute. <laughs> so we've come down to the reception where they have um, coffees and teas and wines and beers and stuff like that. So we're just going to chill out with Vera down here. So this is the reception or lobby. So uh, it's quite good. They've got uh, coffees and teas in there. Might have a coffee. They've got snacks and uh, Hershey's chocolate over there. You like Hershey's chocolate, Vera? I do. Oh, you do, yeah. Yeah, because I don't, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> How's your pint of red wine doing? Uh, I feel like Jim Royal. Pint, from, of, pint of Bailey's. From the Royal family. So did we, um, did we film on the roof? A little bit, and I've explained already. We got kicked off. Yeah, we got kicked out. Private party. Private party. It's usually open. We're just looking for somebody that looks like they're going to the private party so we can get in there and say, we're with the private party. Yeah. We go back Instead, we've got a uh, pint of red wine. Pint of wine. Right, we're just waiting for our Uber back to our hotel. Look at all those uh, valet parkers there behind me. There's loads of valet parker attendants here. Oh, uh, a little tipsy. back in our hotel the Sheraton we're just gonna have a quick look around open market so a little, like a little mini supermarket yeah, a little supermarket with your wines and uh, what have you what's these things oh that looks like nice chocolate what? chocolate oh look Ooh, at that one look at that look at that one it's got cashew nuts in it that one's got like red that one's got orange well, that's vegan chocolate so we have uh, popcorn wedding cookies Wedding cookies. Coffee machines. Now we've got rings. Now we've got wings. We don't need anything more food today. In fact, we don't need true. any more food That's for true. the rest of the week, actually, after what we've eaten tonight. Olives, feta stuffed olives. I do love stuff like this, like olives yeah. and deli stuff. Bit of deli. <laughs> Only 120 calories for that whole box. Yeah. Let's have two. I like these waters. I know you can get them in England, but I like them. Um, that they look like proper water. Containers, what? Candy what is corn. That? Is it Rice Krispies? Like, I think it is. Mm. It's very, um, very Disney, that. Donuts. Oh, oh my god, that looks cookies. nice. Sheraton oh Dallas cookies. Feel how much that weighs. That's not bad, actually, for $4 as well. That weighs like £5. If I wasn't so stuffed, I'd actually think about getting one of them because it looks amazing. What's these? Healthy. It says it's healthy. Healthy? Oh, wait, it must be true then. Yeah. Yogurt pretzel, must be true. What's this thing around here? What? Fail mix, is it? Oh, it's a bag of uh, nuts. Oh my goodness, yeah. chocolate chip cookie there as well. Getting away to Oh, schmars. Oh my god. I cannot believe that. That's literally half a pound. And just over here is a very nice looking bar, which uh, we may try at some point, but not tonight. Maybe. Right, well, I've decided I'm not eating for the rest of the week. After that lovely smokehouse meal that we had, it was very nice. But I'm a little stiff now. So deep, um, alien, alum, whatever. What? That was the area that we oh, yeah. went up. That yeah. was one of the things that we had on this list. Well, two of the things that we had on this list. So we're kind of like, we're ahead now on things that we wanted to do and see yeah. in Dallas. So tomorrow, which will be the next vlog, we are exploring Dallas and we are going to South Fork. South Fork Ranch. We've got morning. a tour booked at 11.15 tomorrow morning. Then we're going to come back in the afternoon. Which, for anybody that doesn't know, was the, the ranch from the TV series Dallas. Both TV series. Yeah. Vera's coming with us. And then we're coming back to the hotel and then exploring some sites in Dallas. We're going to see the uh, Dealey Plaza, 
where Kennedy was shot. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the Reunion Tower and we're going to do Clyde, some like Gardens Park, something. Oh, is that the one that I chose? Yes. Oh, I like the look of that. It's like a garden, like a massive garden that's been built on top of a highway and it just looked really funky. Um, so uh, that's in the next vlog. So. so those are the three things. We do have two more, but it, re it requires driving to them. Okay, so well, we'll see what happens. One of them's like a nature trail doing hiking. I'm done with canyons and mm -hmm. hiking. Mm -hmm. And another one is some kind of farm. So thanks for watching we'll today, guys. see what happens. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Um, Hit the subscribe button if you are new around here. We've got a couple more vlogs in Dallas. Then we are heading off to New Orleans. And don't forget, if you want access to the videos earlier than everybody else on YouTube, check out our Patreon and YouTube members. Yes, and we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye for now. Goodbye.